be able to get to the creep block, that's for sure. Pylai die, still hoping to be Whoa. challenge that, but he's going to run into three heroes. Not what he's anticipating. They're going to pull him back, but now the Purge is going to hit both of them into the double stop. Oh, Pylai die and Puppy, what did you think you were doing? They tied their fates together, and now they both may end up going down as Bulb is going to chase down and get yet another Purge off, and that'll leave Kuro, if necessary, to throw down another stomp to finish off Puppy's life. And yeah, he goes oh. for it. Hook stops, but the right clicks are still there, and a double kill goes to Bulba. Three even um, remnants, one of his Q is on cooldown, so it put him like half HP in sort of like this weird place where the Storm actually has a little kill potential, so he had to like back up and miss a couple CS for it. Uh, hook goes out, actually snags Matumba, man. That was a long range one. He does have wave for him, though, and he'll turn around and just kill Puppy. Meanwhile, MP's battling it up against Curl. Curl's not dead yet. Shadow Demon will get the last hit, and they get the Luna in return. Unable to get Matumba, man, though, as well, and that'll mean a two for one exchange at the bottom lane in favor of Liquid. They take both the support and the carry, only losing Curl in return. It's just to be able to soak experience. Uh oh. Talk about that in a minute because mid one. Oh no, the buck took it wasn't quite long enough. They're gonna throw down the Beastmaster Roar and barely have enough damage to finish him off. Miracle, two more seconds till a time walk is up. He gets a little bit of heal and will be good to go. Meanwhile, mind control, he's gonna be one in serious trouble. Miracle runs himself away knowing mind control cannot be saved. They do get um, liquid team fight is just better, so they have to take these small skirmishes to get them to use ults and then turn that into kills. So, setting. Oh, Stomp's gonna go down. Mid one is forced to dodge it. Does manage to get the right click. They'll get Pudge in return. Waveform forward. Matumba Man actually challenging mid one, but now Fred's gonna be able to jump in there with him. He has to replicate out, trying to separate his hero from the replicate. He's surviving for the meantime, but needs to be able to jump away. Last second, gets a jump. Waveform's out, and he's good. Miracle holding line here. He's got the Chronosphere ready to go, but no real damage. Back it up without supports, unless he gets a couple lucky bashes here. Is he gonna go for this Chronosphere? Mid one's down to half health, but. Looks like he wisely decides it is not time to go for that kill. He would have been right too. Puppy easily could have poked him out of that Chronosphere. Meanwhile, it seems like we're also just uh, a little bit slow on our rotations for Liquid. They keep on missing out on clutch timings. They will manage to get a Primal Roar onto Pylai Dive. Stomp will go down, but Midwan stays ahead of it, going straight for Bulba. Bulba does have his ult and forced to use it here, in which case Midwan is just going to turn for the kill on my control instead. Midwan completely out of mana, though. The Chronos here is going to go down on Pylai Dai. Miracle's damage is needed, though, to help out Midwan. He'll turn around after executing Pylai Dai, makes the jump forward. Midwan, no real escape here, as the Spirit's going to be on one side, and Oracle on the other. Jumps, can't make it over the leap, and will manage to be caught there by the Oracle. Miracle, meanwhile, two more seconds. They have the pure damage burst. Forev, a little bit more mana for it, but the time walk is away, and Forev may not have any more mana to go for it. It's going to be Puppy left out in the cold, as once again, Bulba's going to be the other side, sandwiching the hero two to three. Yo, they're is that what the... Wow. Rock bottom pressuring the tower. Long jump in, we'll be able to find Bulba first. The Orca goes down on mind control, really well played by mid one, but unfortunately the Necronomicon minions eat through his mana so quickly, but they've already taken two. Can they get a third Matumba man? He's certainly not going to be a target. Kuro would be a better one for him. Gets the Chakram onto him, a little bit of help from Pylai Dai. Pylai Dai in trouble from Matumba man. First damage on Kuro, not quite enough. The Glimmer Cape is enough to make him escape. And Pylai Dai, he's the victim in return to the Morphling's aggression. Right back up to top lane, Miracle's able to get the tier two, and a Diffusal Blade soon to be finished. Actually was gonna TP out, cancels it. And take it no real quickly, way. but. Yeah, Liquid realized that they were trying to do that, and just nobody could be top because the they knew the timber was gonna rotate oh, around. Oh, 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 oh. The power of pure damage against a Morphling right there. Timber saw blinks in, gets his nice Chakram duo, and then Pudge with the long range hook is able to hit him as well. Now Miracle's gonna be caught out, Orchided, unable to defuse a blade and split up in time. Puppy snags him with the dismember. Wow, they just bagged themselves 18k MMR. They really did. That is now going to be a high ground push pretty easily. They've got 50 seconds left until the uh, Chronosphere is up from the face's void. He does not have buyback. And really, there's no point in Liquid buying back on the Morphling, or at least I thought not. Maybe they're actually going to try and fight this one out without the face's void. But as you can see, the Mailer Rax is already gone. The damage is done. Secret will start to back away. Oh, yeah, never mind. They're going to jump in. No, oh, that's not the jump they wanted. It's snatching with the hook. They do manage to still get the kill on the Oracle, clean up the range tracks, and will now back up. Probably block, try and block the roar or something. Um, block the E blade on a support, maybe if it's swine. 
Yeah, it's probably more important, right? That's a more integral part of the strategy right now. It's just how are you going to high ground push? Miracle picks up the sneaky Shadow Blade. Might just have a beautiful Chronosphere, but his team isn't fully in position to defend. He goes for Whoa. Pile I Die, though. That's the important hero. Still will manage to catch up the three-man Chronosphere and almost pops MP as well. MP gets up the Eclipse, but only for a second. He goes down mid one and Forever. Going to be left to try and carry out this team fight against Liquid, but it's not looking great. Maybe Forever gets bashed up mid Timber Chain. Jumps away there from Miracle. It's a little bit of time away from the Timber Saw, who's forced to commit suicide via Bloodstone. And Liquid found their opening a potential way back into this game, thanks to Miracle Shadow Blade and a three man Chronosphere. Looks like Midwan's still going to be able to find an extra pickoff, making it an okay, maybe not. Curl's got the Glimmer Cape, so he's good. end up losing practice here. It's, uh, Liquid, you know, forcing. Oh, Jesus, puppy, what a snag. Long range into the enemy base, gets Kuro, one of the better high ground defenders, and now Secret just file on in. They go for whatever else they can get. It's gonna be Bulba, not outside of the fountain, he'll go down. And mid one may be low on mana, but it doesn't really matter anymore. MP is here for the backup. Those Raxes just disappear, and they're gonna make it so easy. They're gonna end this game before anybody comes back up. No mega creeps, nothing silly like that. They're just gonna go ahead and go straight for the throne. And with a Luna, they can certainly do so. The jump out, Mind Control goes and tries to eliminate Pudge. It's not actually enough though. And he will manage to survive the buybacks out. Miracle's now alive. One more second, but the Roshan, or excuse me, the Radiant Ancient, about to go down secret, back up a little bit, leave the illusions to make the commitment here. They know that a big Chronosphere is the only way Liquid can stop this game from ending, and they've caught Miracle. He's down, and now secret stream forward once again. Matumba Man with his Ethereal Blade tries to get back to the fountain, but it's really just delaying the inevitable. Whether he dies or not, this game should be over. And Secret, catch another one. Kuro, he's gonna go down. My control. Oh, he goes down instead. Bulba chose to save Kuro. Curl throws out the stomp, and now the throne will go down, and game number one is taken by Team Secret. Get two CS and miss a little too uh, high HP. Curl lays down a torrent, tries to juke it out, will still be gone on here. Midwan is going to commit to his orb, and Puppy will go all the way into the tier one tower. Can be the Riptide, and claims the kill. Even has the level two damage up, and dodge some of the damage coming out from both Miracle and the tower. He's been on That's the waves, our... then pull this hard camp, whereas the Void really has no way to shove the lane. Juggling out farm in the, uh, in the long run, this lane. They're gonna make a go on the Huskar here, already bringing him low, but he does have the backup of the Oracle. Oh my god, he just right clicked him down, what a beast. Rev, he'll get X torrented up and die in return, but come on, a Timber Saw killing a Huskar early on in the laning phase, that is... That's something you're real happy with. Able to catch him before the time walk away. Meanwhile, that leaves Puppy in mid against Miracle's Invoker. Miracle, he does have the Sunstrike, just trying to get the right click kill first. First Puppy wanders straight into it. Gotta head check yourself after that one. Liquid, meanwhile, at bottom lane, they're gonna be able to get the Chronosphere on MP. Burst damage might be with there with the Torrent. MP gonna be able to spin in a second. They need a bash desperately, and they've got it too. Mind Control keeps MP in place long enough for Bulbo to pick up the last hit. Oh, uh, they almost uh, they almost messed that up pretty bad. Bulbo accidentally uh, purifying flames to creep, so if he didn't get that bash, he might have lived. Tumba Man trying to make the run away. Chakram. And that's Make sure he can't get to it. Mid one, showing that rotation right here. They're gonna Dream Coil up. MP ready to go with the Omni Slash. That physical damage burst should be easily enough. Now Bulba in his attempt, misguided as it may be, to attempt to save the Huskar, he's gonna be caught as well. MP picks up the double. He's, uh... <laughs> he's, he's oh, but Tubba Man. Man, it's the only rune that kills me. Yeah. Tubba Man is gonna be saved here by the Oracle. They're gonna turn around if the Sunstrike landed. They could have gotten that kill on Perev. Maybe they still can. Perev turns around, tries to get a last bit of burst damage. He did it too. Oh, that had to be a tough read. I'm sure he saw that he was just dead, stuck in those trees. So he went for the only kill he could possibly get. And sure enough, the Oracle was not able to heal the Huskar up enough. We're gonna see Pylai die. It just threw out a recall for mid one, pulls him in, and they're gonna go for Matsu. Jumps in, silence. Will lead the way. MP has an Omni Slash in a second if necessary, and it is necessary. Even gets some damage onto my control, but will be left in Chronosphere, Sunstrike, Torrent, Wombo combo with a ship just added on top for the extra. Mm. Oil is also down. They saw mid one push out that lane with pretty low mass. I know he's probably gonna go back to base. Um, then, you know, the, the hero's not, be set, not being setting up 
the, the, the hero's not being set up for this. Um, Timbers, whoa! Oh, ho, 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 ho. For Ev. He spots a small little opening and he bounces on that one. Gets the free kill there. Meanwhile, Miracle coming in from behind gets Pylai die. They'll have to turn around and try and help out for Forev though. As the rest of his team is closing the distance. TP's gonna come in. That's gonna be MP. MP does have his zombie slash, and it's gonna be a dangerous fight. Mind control. He pays the price for it too. Torrent on the two. That allows Miracle and the rest of his boys to get some escape, maybe. Kuro needs a little bit of extra help. He's gonna go ship. Looks like he probably could be dead here. Meanwhile, we have mid one chasing down Bulba as well as Miracle. Very important kills, but they don't have the vision. Back over to Kuro next to the tier one tower, caught out by the shotgun, and sure enough, there was no way he was gonna make his way out of that one. A little bit behooved to try and uh, actually push into secret with this Radiance coming up. Miracle's the only one really keeping in this game. Mind Control needs to be able to make a time walk away, but Tubba Man actually just jumps right in, making himself a target. Rev keeping a distance until he knows he can burst him down, and sure enough, he got him. Looks like Oracle died as well. MP able to clean him up with the Omni Slash, and now it's just a question of how many other heroes can they get. Mind Control has a time walk, jumps into the trees, TP's out. Song of Siren here to cancel it, not in time. Couldn't catch him, thought he went down, he ended up going north. Really so killed Siren. that well. Um, you know, Tinker just has a whole lot of cores, so he's gonna have to play really well. He can get the occasional pickoff, but he actually is gonna be caught immediately. Secret counts onto him. Bulba will be able to heal him up a little bit, it looks like, with the ultimate. Miracle's gonna take a large amount of damage, I imagine, wow. but not quite enough to burst him down. Meanwhile, Matumba Man fighting into Puppy has to dodge the pure damage coming out from the Chakram, but it's gonna be caught by an ensnare. Nice jump away using the ultimate onto the illusions. Now the space being created by a tornado. Matumba Man's actually gonna escape there. Sunstrike off the mark. Kuro won't be making out alive, but Brev, he's going to be caught in the process. Easily bursted down. Omni Slash mounted around. Oh my god, all of Liquid are so low. They burst down three. But Tumba Man, last man alive. And Matu, he's done it many, many times this game. Let's give him one more death. Nine, 26 minutes in. Team Secret handle Liquid in that team fight. It's under farmed. Yeah, I don't really think they have the uh, have the ability to take this late game. They they really don't have any Naga answers. This puck is always going to be on top of this Oracle, so he's never really going to have the ability to ult the Pulse Car unless it's the perfect fight scenario. The Tumba Man jumps forward, going for Pylite. Ty, boom! Mind Control already gone. Bulba, he saves Matumba Man as best he can, but the damage output is just simply not enough. Bulba in the back line is going to be caught by Forev. Pull back, and somebody's going to right click him. Surviving a lot longer. They're actually going to commit a couple of heroes there to finish him off. Mid one was hoping to be able to get the extra kill on a Kuro. Doesn't quite have the burst damage yet. Dagon needed a few more seconds. Meanwhile, Puppy, he just caught himself a miracle. Invoker trapped up. Not going to be able to make the blink away. It looks like with MP already spinning out the ensnare. Makes it sure Miracle stays in one place for the team to burst him down. That's four dead. Only Kuro making it out alive. 18 to 28 as Team Secret starts siege in the bottom lane. Which only real hope at this point is uh, a smoke push out. And just, I mean, they're doing it completely blind, but they might just be lucky enough to stumble into Roshan. The Sunstrike lands. They are in a position here for Mind Control to be able to land the Chronosphere. They get it just on NP, but maybe they can burst him out. Midwan, though, he's already taken out Bulba. And Matumba Man's having issues with Forev. All that burst damage. Oh, comes in, but unfortunately the tornado allows them to be able to dodge most of that. Now Miracle's cop of the ensnare. Will manage to ghost walk himself a bit of distance away, just trying to get out of range of those Naga Siren illusions with the gem. Dropped out of pretty much no HP thanks to the boat. And he also sees Puppy. Not sure if he really wants to go. The Saga Siren too close to risk that one. Meanwhile, Matumba Man's gonna be initiated on. Pylai Dai found his opening with recall in from Brett Bulba. He managed to save Matumba Man for the time being, but he gets Omni Slashed. In return, Matumba Man heals right back up the full. Meanwhile, Miracle tried to go in from behind. Tried to catch Puppy. Gets the ground on by Midwan back over to mid tier two. So he can deal with the time dilation. It's all up to Mike Control at this point. Oh, the counter from Midwan. Beautifully blinks in and silences Mind Control, pulsing that one. Perez in deep. The boat's gonna land on Pylai Die. They do have a second chance at this. The Song of Siren goes down. Rev, he just goes deeper. Jesus. It's X'd up. Maybe they can turn on him somehow. They unfortunately don't have a whole lot of damage. Mind Control's here. He's got the Chronosphere if necessary. They're trying to go on Forev, but he makes the Timber Chain away. Meanwhile, Oracle couldn't deal with the Radiance damage, and my Control goes down again. Midwan, beyond godlike, cannot stop him. At this point, Matumba Man 
all the way back to the fountain with him. Barely makes it out alive. Rev will timber chain himself out once again. Lotus Orb up, keeping Liquid trapped inside of their own high ground of the fountain. Well, the rest is secret. Let's go for the objective. Nice jump in. Drink point on to three. Bursting down Matumba Man. Miracle's up next. He goes down. Curl left waiting the inevitable fate. 19 to 38 is our closing score as Secret dominate Liquid in this game too.